Good afternoon. I thought I'm going to make another video because a viewer had pointed this out that my temperature was getting too high. And uh, that is true, but then it's not true. But I will show you this uh, in another video later tonight, one of the theoretical ones, which goes back to the actual manual. Uh, this thing here was in my car and it was already on its last Like You can see I have disconnected the wires here. Yeah, what happened is, for whatever reason, this fan sits in there like this, yep. And it should rotate in this direction, blowing, blowing down, and it didn't. Um, because the wires which lead to my connection down here were reversed, or are reversed, for whatever reason. I have to look into this. Anyway, it was sucking the air back, and that's why my AC was cycling like crazy, and that's why the temperature went up. And by the way, I found on the old chain, which is now in the dumpster, in the metal recycle bin, uh, it fell all the way in there. It said Fabi on there, so that was a Fabi chain and the Fabi tensioner, and I probably have Fabi rails and uh, chain tensioner, uh, chain guide tensioner in there as well they're gonna come out here pretty soon but let me show you what i did this i had to replace this here because this thing was squealing and it just doesn't run easy anymore and um i got a new one so what i did was i looked through the manuals and i know that mercedes-benz had a version for hot countries and they had a special version for the 300 that 300 horsepower unit and the uh, that's nice the cow is still missing that's coming but we will get it here pretty soon the engine runs pretty quiet now until we get the timing fully adjusted you can tell it there's not much of a shake in there but what you can see it's hardly noticeable it's a slight vibration and my compressor is now running constantly, so it no longer cycles. And this is now at the lowest stage. And they use those on the special purpose Mercedes-Benz, the, uh, uh, the estate cars, the estate cars with the 300 horsepower engine. That's what that was used for. I got this for 75 bucks. Let me go inside. Yeah. Now, first of all, it's freezing cold in here. You can see this, my oil pressure is higher. And now the temperature, even though we got, the, the temperature gauge says 109, it's more like 95 outside. And that is probably about 35 degrees Celsius, 30 to 35 C. So it is pretty hot here. And, uh, but now the car runs cool. The AC is blowing, freezing cold, and it feels good because it no longer cycles. Um, that has really stabilized the whole thing. But the problem primarily was with the um, uh, with the swap wires, that the fans were going in the opposite direction. And that was true when I hooked up the dual fan system. I had to swap the two wires around. There's a brown wire, which is ground, and a black white wire it has a white line black uh, basic color and that is actually your plus that is the switched one which toggles between resistor off or off resistor and full 12 volts or 14 volts and those two are swapped for whatever reason uh, back in the very beginning i had showed you this the fellow who owned the car before or someone else had added an extra resistor and had bypassed the entire AC system because they couldn't get this thing to work and they had wired in that and they may have swapped that in the uh, fuse box where now the my brown wire has actually plus 12 volts and the uh, uh, brown and black wire is now the switched one they must have uh, changed those but I got that back but it is swapped I guess uh, but that fixed the issue the car doesn't get hot anymore and you can see there's minimal vibration in there so we're on the right track i still have the 10 30 in here and you can see this when the engine runs colder i get a much higher oil pressure my oil pressure would drop down to one bar when the temperature goes up well let me explain this real quick in the operator's manual 
it will tell you this that in the heat gauge here you have the red mark and this comes from the mixture this is your boiling point for the antifreeze and they use a 44 percent mixture which has a boiling point of 120 degrees celsius i have 50 percent 50 50 my boiling point is 128 degrees celsius and they said this would be normal in stop and go or in heavy traffic city traffic that the operating range would be normally between 80 to all the way down here which is about 110 degrees and but with the dual fan system which was done primarily with the air conditioning rather than the single fan you get more cooling and you don't have to worry about this so even at this very high temperature now what we have out here in the mid 90s today in kansas it is hot and humid uh, i'm staying barely at 80 degrees that is the temperature i usually see in the winter and my ac compressor like i said is no longer cycling in and out it goes and now i have full cold air even at low rpm i just wanted to throw this in said so that's fixed now too uh, the only adding will, i will do to the system is when that shroud comes because the fan itself actually is attached to the shroud and then the shroud mounts in these holes and that will fit into the into my chassis here that is all pre-aligned with the bolts i got um then we can do it so but i figured i'm gonna put it in now until the shroud gets here that may be here on saturday it may be here next week it's coming with ups ground so it can take a little while okay and tonight we're gonna have the theoretical video it's gonna be not very long but i'm gonna look at the manual and i'm gonna point a couple of things out Oh, the other thing is we also fixed our turn signal. This is now the uh, Euro one. Since I sent the Fabi one back for, for $50. And that was working fine. It fits 100% fit. No problems here. And I can now turn the turn signal and my high beams no longer come on only if i activate them and like before is when i had the lights on like this and i would make a right turn uh, the high beams would come on so that's fixed too we got that fixed and then the horn is fixed everything is working as intended you have a great afternoon